Some extremely disheartening news tonight for Christians and others obviously who support religious liberty. Christians are being persecuted at levels not seen perhaps since the early days of that faith. Senior foreign affairs correspondent Amy Kellogg has details tonight from Milan, Italy. Though many of the victims were Muslim, ISIS claimed the target of its recent nightclub shooting rampage in Istanbul were Christians celebrating their, quote, pagan feast. Terrorists bombed a park full of families in their Easter finest in Lahore, Pakistan last March. And a French priest had his throat slit in his own parish in France in July 2016. According to the Center for the Study of Global Christianity, in the last decade or so, an average of 90,000 Christians have become martyrs each year. That is one martyr every six minutes. The center's definition of martyr is anyone who died prematurely while upholding Christian values and who was killed by human hostility. This makes Christians the most persecuted religious group in the world. Christians are a third of the world's population. There are 2.4 billion Christians in the world. And two thirds of those Christians live in areas of war and of conflict and of violence. So I think it's important to remember that Christianity is not easy in other places in the world in the way that it is in Europe and North America. 70% of those killed were killed in tribal conflicts in Africa. 30% were killed by terrorism, destruction of Christian villages, and government persecution worldwide. Mass killings are included in the calculations, like the bloodshed in the Democratic Republic of Congo, as are targeted acts of terror. Pope Francis highlighted the issue in a mass last month. He talks all the time about how there are actually more martyrs today than there were in the early days of Christianity. And if you think about the early days, here in Rome even, uh, there are martyrs all over the place. And so things were pretty bad then. In fact, he uses more than words. The Pope made a risky visit, the first of a pontiff to a war zone, meeting both Christians and Muslims in the Central African Republic just over a year ago, saying killing should never be done in the name of religion. The Center for the Study of Global Christianity says that highlighting the number of martyrs actually gives some dignity to those who have died, and it also keeps up the pressure on those who have the power to do something about the situation to actually act. Brett? Amy Kellogg in Milan. Amy, thank you. A London-based research group says more than 16,000 Iraqi civilians died last year in violence and military operations. Iraqi body count says 3,700 of those were in Baghdad, the capital city. This report comes just days after the United Nations reported a civilian death toll in parts of Iraq of nearly 7,000.